But uh, we're out here, it's kind of, uh, kind of wavy, kind of wavy. You usually don't set sail on a day like this, but we're like, it's, oh my gosh, another big one. That's what's in uh, it's green, getting green at least. It's a beautiful time of year with the rain. But yeah. Now James has the camera. It's a beautiful time of year when it's, there's rain, and uh, we've got some old, So we have this little tiny little battery that's underwater right now. A quarter of it's underwater. So our legs might get zapped. So, so it's a very electric, electrical evening, the morning. Let me see a galley. I you guys are doing good. Let me know in the comments where you're at today. Um, we want to start posting more videos and be a little more intentional about it. You know, I know a lot of you can't get to Israel. And, see you here in the land so as uh, as simple as these videos are I feel like uh, we need to do them sometimes especially since you guys are watching we got a big wave coming oh my god I'm looking for sparks coming off the, the battery um, so we're gonna try to keep the, the videos coming so if you can tell your friends to subscribe we've got a goal to keep reaching more people because Throughout this content, it's not always just having fun in the lake. It's a lot of uh, things that uh, are my friends and I might have to say, you know, about what God's doing in Israel and doing in the nation, especially as we start traveling more again. If my baby gets a little bit older, I'm going to be traveling a little, little more. Poland next week uh, to go to uh, my producer's studio in Poland, uh, the main engineer. He told me that, he's sorry, his studio isn't in a big city. excited because that is the hometown of my grandmother, Ruth Epstein. My mom's mother fled the Holocaust to come to Israel. And she came here uh, in the early 40s. Uh, she didn't go to the camps, thank God, but she made it comments where are you guys coming from uh, what other kind of videos would you like to see because we want to show you we want to show you Israel a lot of the videos you're going to see is just my home area you know my, my village up on the hill probably uh, Makom Tov Behemsa my buddy Tal's uh, restaurant where we get to get food and coffee all the time and all around Israel but uh, as we sink here <laughs> we're, we're, <back> we're, <laughs> we're getting full of water here the battery back there is low God 
bless you from, from the lake, and uh, I, I wish you a peaceful, restful Shabbat like we're having today, just thinking about the Creator who who would just be walking out here on this lake with uh, with calm in his being. These guys will wave to us, ready? <laughs> There's an Israeli thing, they're very, very but sometimes they're like, why are you waiting to me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what we got here? Hi Gina. The market and the produce. Okay, okay, great. We did a video a couple of days ago at the Shuk. Okay, we'll do more like that. Thanks, Gina. Who else we got there? Hi Sumbai. You see, oh, you see, you weren't in Israel, but Jordan. Cool. So that you want to see Jordan here, right here. So by that's Jordan. Right here, left is the Golan Heights. You see that valley in the middle separates the Golan and the mountains of the country of Jordan. So that's Jordan right there. Who else we got there? We got Mark. Feeling cold in the UK? Give a big wave. As G. Okay, big wave to you guys. Hi, David. Blessings to you. Hi, Matla. Hi, Jackie. Any live videos? Okay, great. Okay. Awesome. Where he would have been. Okay, yep. We'll, we'll keep doing those. Hi, Patricia. Hi, James Ruban. Hi, Epi. Hi, ACA. Daniel from Holland. PTL. Waves are still coming. Oh, great, Jackie. It's so great to hear. Hi, Matthew and Bethlehem McNeely from Colorado, USA. Awesome. Didn't you still live in Colorado, Ryan? Briefly. Briefly. Okay, Ryan used to live in Colorado. Much love to you guys. We will keep in touch, ACA, at least via YouTube. David. Shalom to you, David. Hi, Naveen. Waiting for a new song. Okay, we got the live album is coming soon with some new songs as well. So we're going to just give you a nice little uh, trolling view as we head back. And then we'll sign off soon. Hi, Ann. Ann and Graham Wally, Cornwall, UK. Oh, and Arnie and the Unites. Hey, hi, guys. Hi, Jamar. Francesca, Catholic from Italy. Hi, Zalishma. Hi. Welcome. Blessings to you. I think I got a message from some friends, from Franciscan brothers that saying that they use one of the songs in one of your worship sessions. I'm so honored uh, that it could be used to glorify the Lord. Hi, Dr. Peter, Indiana. Jacqueline from South California. I hope you make your trip in October. Hi, Gina. Fishing, we did fish. I am a terrible fisherman here on the Kineret. Honestly, the only guys who are catching a lot of fish are the net fishermen, and you have to have a license for that. So we're always uh, reeling in empty, not always, but not catching very often. We get, we get the pole right out now, right now, trolling behind us. But uh, you know, there's a lot of mushed. Somebody's asking what kind of fish mushed, like St. Peter's fish. A lot of little fish, um, big fish. I'm, I'm sort of stalling now because I don't know the names of all the fish. But honestly, a lot of the fish here, not a lot, but some of the bigger ones are imports. This lake, uh, maybe we can turn this around. Um, this lake, uh, when Israel came back in Israel's hands, was uh, was not very clean. It was it was desolate. You know, they, all the trees were uprooted, and the, the land wasn't taken care of. So uh, the same for the lake. The lake was wasn't doing so well. So what they did was they bred a certain amount of fish, uh, even bottom feeding fish, to keep the algae up, to keep the levels right. And then there was another fish they brought in that there was multiplying too many. And then they brought in another fish that would eat those fish and keep them populated. So throughout the years of Israel, these are the stories I've heard some, from some of our tour guides. They've they found a way to help to give the, the lake a little bit of help to, to bring it back to life because it wasn't so great uh, 80, 100 years ago. But now it's, 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 a, it's amazing, it's thriving, and it's, it's uh, swimmable. Um, and uh, some, sometime in the future we'll bring the boat on the river too. 
which is just below us, because right now we're at the bottom. It's around. Right now we're at the bottom of the Sea of Galilee. So uh, right here is, is an outlet. And uh, in the Jordan River, which is where the Jordan River begins, and it's actually where it's actually where we do our, our baptisms. Um, mostly because it's so close to the house, and my wife and kids can come down and, and meet the tour group because we have a tour group every every fall. This year will be in September, and and we bring them down there because it's just much closer. So we're gonna sign off. I hope you guys have a great Shabbat. We're gonna rest and just enjoy the day. I'm gonna go home and spend the rest of the morning with the kids. Uh, I, I wish you all the best. Same to you, James. Thanks, Luis. Thanks, Sasha. Sa Sasha, brother. Bokir Tov. Shabbat Shalom, Sasha. Ciao, Matla. Yoshua, Shabbat Shalom to you. Christine, a video at the Dead Sea. You got it. You have, we'll have one of those uh, pretty soon. Uh, you got it. Winter is a great time to go to the Dead Sea. It's much warmer there. All right, we're signing off. Shabbat Shalom from the Kinneret. And I wish you guys all...